Yes, yes, yes. It's Raphael Dawkins, Combat Radio. And if you have not subscribed already but you enjoy the content, please kindly do so. Okay, so today we're looking at the fight between Philippe Egovic versus, what's this cat's name? Mario Herida took place in, or is it Soroto, Soranto, in Mexico. Who is it promoted by? There we go. The Zone, a The Zone production. Eddie Hearn in the Bill Din. Okay, so this is a fight recap about the happenings between. Ergovic, a Croatian, versus Mehiho, Mr. Mehiho, Herida. Okay, so, as we know, Ergovic, Ergovic, Philippe, Croatia, ranked 13 on box rank, 6 foot 6. Zagreb, Croatia. How old is he? 27. Olympian. High hopes for him. Okay, so. And his opponent, Mario Herida of Mexico. Okay, so first round. Stiff arm defense from. Hergovic, Hergovic, punches when Herida tried to close in, use the Klitschko style stiff arm defense. To be quite frank, I don't like the stiff arm defense. You know, that's an invitation to go downstairs to the body, poop, poop, one, two, come up. I don't like the stiff arm defense, but anyway, he's an Olympian, so he knows what he's doing. Stiff arm defense and uh, he was right hand happy, was Ergovic, Ergovic, right hand happy. But uh, looks like he wanted to get Herida out of there pronto. I think his last fight, he finished his opponent in one round, if I'm not mistaken. Let's just check. Let's just check on that. Where are we? 13. Philippe Ergovic, Ergovic. Gregory Corbin, that's it. Gregory Corbin, TKO. TKO, one round. I remember that one. That was a crazy fight. Crazy, crazy, crazy fight. Okay, so. Ergovic, right hand happy. Whipping that right hand in. Plenty. Although, Arida, he was not going to let him have it his own way. He wasn't, he wasn't just there to, to lie down immediately. So, Herida may be buoyed by the success of his Mexican brother, Andy Ruiz Jr. Ponce, Andreas Ponce, Andreas Ponce Ruiz, his birth name. Maybe he was buoyed by the success of Ponce. And uh, he came whipping in, whipping in some nice right hands. So, first round goes to Hergovic. Right hand happy Hergovic. Okay, round two opens with a nice, Hergovic opens with a nice uppercut right hook combination. Just uppercut first, then switched it round to the right hook. It's quite a nice combo. Nice seamlessly, nice seamless move. Very nice. He used that, uh, used that move several times during the bout. Hergovic once again, or rather, Arida once again, looking for that, looking for that jackpot shot. 
whipped in, whipped in the overhand right a couple of times. And came in with a nice, nice good right shot to the body of Hergovic. Hergovic once again, right hand happy. Switching the uppercut into a hook. The reader comes back with his own right hand. That's round two also to Hergovic. It has to be mentioned at this time that Harida, the Mexican, had been, was pretty much a journeyman. He's been put down 12 times in his career. Another round to Hergovic. And so we went into round three where Harida seemed to come out lacking ambition. Hergovic, right hand happy, caught Harida with a nice little combo before Harida reeled back. And Hergovic comes in with a almost a step in, step in big right. Kind of stepped into it or hopped into it and boom. Big straight right. And the consequence was that Herida dropped to the ground. It was a good shot. It was a big shot. I had to watch it. I had to watch it replay that shot a couple of times because it just seemed like Hergovic seemed like Hergovic came out for the third round lacking ambition. But I watched that re I watched the replay, rewound that right, big right hand a couple of times, and yes, it was legit. I was suspicious at first, but it was a legit big, legit big right shot. Harida kind of got up awkwardly, awkwardly on his on his feet and his hands, and he just kind of walked his hands in, you know, together, and got up very, very slowly. The ref looked at him and waved it off. He got back to his feet, but the ref waved it off. Hergovic emerges victorious from fighting the journeyman. So, what next? What next for Hergovic? He's a legit 13 ranked by Box Rec. Where does he go next? Where is he? Where is he? 13. Who's above him? Well, is he going to fight anybody above him right now? I don't think so. I don't think so. Only on nine fights, seven KOs. Still in the building phase. Still be fighting lower ranked opponents for now. Build him up. They're building him up nicely. His management and promoters building him up nicely. But I see certain things in his in his style that I'm not too sure about. Not too sure about. I don't see no double jabs. I don't like the stiff arm defense. Just stiff arm, just hold him out. But he's got the reach, so why not? But I can see somebody or persons getting under that, coming under the stiff arm to the body and going to the head. That seems like the perfect antidote. That stiff arm left, boom, boom. Or slip under the left, slip under the stiff arm and come with a left hook. Catch him, turn him. Yeah, not, not a big fan of the stiff arm, although it does have its applications. But I'd rather see him mixing it up with the Maybe a jab first and then the stiff arm and then whip in the right. Although, to be fair, he does whip in the right quite frequently. So can't complain about that. He's doing what he has to do at this stage. I would love to see a double jab. I'd love to see a little bit more footwork. I'd love to see him step back and let people work, walk, walk onto his right. I'd love to also love to see a left hook. Maybe... Stiff arm, step back, straight jab, left hook. Yeah, let's get some double jabs and left hooks going. You've already got the right. Okay, 
So that's the roundup. Still looking good. Ergovic. Still doing the job. Still progressing. Nine fights. Many more miles to go. But he did what he's supposed to do against the journeyman. So, have your say. Leave your comments in the comment section. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Made that account specially for you guys. Okay. That's Raphael Dawkins. Combat Radio. And I am out. <laughs>